If you are someone who likes to leave multiple tabs open when browsing the internet, you might find the ability to group tabs together rather useful. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you use the tab grouping feature in Chrome browser. As you can see, we already have a number of tabs open in our Chrome browser. However, if we were to create more tabs, it would start to make our browser window look more cluttered and distracting. So we're going to group our tabs together, which will in turn hide them from view. If we first select a tab and then click the right button on our mouse, we will be presented with a quick menu. From within this menu, we have an option called Add Tab to New Group. It is this option that we will be using. As we currently have a number of tabs that are specifically related to streaming content, it makes sense to try and group them together. So first, we're going to highlight the tabs that we want to place in a group. While there are a number of different ways to highlight tabs, for this example, we're going to press and hold down the control key on our keyboard and use our mouse pointer to select the specific tabs that we wish to group together. Now with our mouse pointer placed over one of our highlighted tabs, if we right click our mouse and from the quick menu choose Add Tabs to New Group, a drop down menu will appear asking us to give our new group a name. Once we've given our group a title, we can choose to assign our group with a specific color that will make our grouped tabs easier to see. If we select New Tab in Group, a blank tab is added to our group. We can now load a website into that new tab, which will then be included in our entertainment group. In order to once again see group options, if we place our mouse pointer on the title of our group and press the right mouse button, the drop down menu will reappear. The other three menu options, Ungroup, Close Group, and Move Group to a new window, are all fairly self explanatory. However, if we want to include or exclude a tab from our group, we simply need to use drag and drop. So, for example, if we want to include this tab in our entertainment group by placing our mouse pointer on the tab and then pressing and holding down our left mouse button, if we then drag the highlighted tab into our grouped tabs, when we release the left mouse button, our highlighted tab will be added to our group. Let's repeat that procedure so that all of our tabs are in the entertainment group. As there are two different methods that we can use to remove a tab from a group, let's first take a look at how we remove a tab via the quick menu. If we place our mouse pointer on the heading of the tab that we wish to remove from our group, when we click the right button on our mouse, a quick menu is displayed. Now if we select Remove from Group, our tab will no longer be part of our entertainment group. The other method that we can use to remove a tab from a group is to simply drag and drop a tab outside of our group. So once again if we place our mouse pointer on the title of a tab and then press and hold down the left mouse button, when we drag the tab away from our group it will break the link to that group. Finally, and the main reason why we like to use grouped tabs, is that by using grouped tabs we can declutter and make our browser less distracting to work in. So if we place our mouse pointer over our group title, and then click the left mouse button, the tabs in our group will contract, leaving only the group title visible. Then when we want to see the contents of the tabs in our group, if we once again click on the group title, all of our tabs will become visible.